My name is Jordan Nelson and my wife's name is Jamie Nelson and we live in Valdez, Alaska. We moved here three years ago in uh, July of 2017. She's a school teacher for the, for the Valdez City School Di District and I am a financial and budget analyst with the City of Valdez. One of the things that uh, you might notice in coming to Alaska is food is extremely important. Like we all think about food and how we're going to preserve our food and um, where we're going to put our food and where we're going to get our food. We've shot a moose. The moose fell down. Oh, we're trying to find said moose. I think part of that is the, the culture up here in Alaska especially on a place like Valdez. This guy will feed us for two seasons, likely. Uh, I want to thank my wife for kicking me out of the house, <laughs> even when I'm dead tired. Now what? This yep. thing is half submerged in water. Now the work starts. You know, this is the any bull unit, so anything was legal with horns. You're going to go back and uh, get reinforcements. I'm going to stay here. I got one bullet in the magazine in case uh, the bears and the cow moose show up and decide they don't like me working on their boyfriend. You two quarters on one side, pull the skin all the way back, and then pull the quarters off, flip the animal, quarter the other two, get the, remove the skin entirely. And now we just remove the neck meat, which is good burger, and the hips, which is decent steak. What are you doing, Joy? Sharpening some knives for the boys. <laughs> Valdez is at the end of the road. It's a small community, a long ways from, from any type of major municipality or major hub. Uh, we have our own port here in Valdez, the northernmost ice free port, but we don't get a lot of our food, a lot of our shipping or anything like that through the port of Valdez. It comes via the road system and we're roughly 330 miles from Anchorage. Medical students and a nurse on scene and they're impressed with the size of this heart. As you can see, it's as big as my head. Uh, this is a small moose, but a uh, sizable heart, not big as a football. If you can imagine just being at the end of the road like that, the supply chain is extremely fragile. Uh, we spend a lot of time thinking about that and preparing for the eventual shutdown of that supply chain. Often avalanches will close the pass in the winter. This happened three times last winter, three separate occasions. One major avalanche closed it for three days. We're here at Bruce and Shirley Kane's house in Glen Allen, and they are set up, as you can see, to receive and process moose. And one of the things that Bruce has that not a lot of folks do is a, is a good meat saw band saw. And so he can make excellent T-bone steaks out of both sides of this spinal column. So we're gonna let this meat sit for seven days or so, or let it hang and let it cure just a little bit. We wiped it down with vinegar and tried to clean off some of the uh, swamp marinade and um, as it has been seasoned with Alaska's finest herbs and spices, um, but it's ready to go. It's a fair bit of meat, you might say. Having that backup food supply is extremely important. So we, we can uh, a lot of things, pressure can, meats and that kind of thing, and, uh, and often Alaskans will have a meat freezer and a fish freezer, uh, that's where we stand.